Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm really happy to be here tonight. I just got out of the shower. I was kind of rushing a little bit, but it's all good now. We're all chilling. The end is here, Brody. You are so correct. We have come to the end of Emerald. This has been such a long, beautiful journey. We had our playthrough with our wonderful team. We found our melodic, which was great. Um, and then we started our Battle Frontier series, and that feels like that flew by. Like, once we actually got our team set in stone, we just rolled through. It was so much fun. And I, and we had a little bit of adversity there, but it was a great time. I appreciate you guys being here for it. And uh, tonight, we're going we're gonna to close it out. Um, so how are we going to close it out, you might be asking yourself. Well... Let me show you. Let's go! Yes. In the post game, you can come to the Weather Institute. And if you pop inside here and you go up to the second floor, there is a professor in here that is going to tell us where we can find Groudon and Kyogre. And it, uh, it goes based on the weather. It says there's a drought in Route 114. So if we head to Route 114, we should find a cave, a new cave, that will have Groudon. And after we catch Groudon, we'll have the opportunity to catch Kyogre. And then after we do that, there will only be one thing left to do. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you to, to be here. All right, so he said Route 114. As you can see, I brought a squad here that I thought would be really nice in catching um, these Pokemon. So Route 114, it's going to be up here. So let's let's head to Fall Arbor Town. Now you'll have to bear with me a little bit, because um, here, as you can see, we have our drought conditions that we remember from the cataclysmic uh, weather event that happened previously. I'm pretty sure that Groudon's Cavern is gonna be up here, but let me see. All right, not up here. Um, Ziggy is doing the heavy lifting, my friend. Um, let me go ahead and pop a repel. Perfect. So now I have to find where Groudon's Cavern is, and I would think it's probably somewhere in this area. Let's have a look-see. Oh, there it is. All right, so now if Groudon is on Route 114, you'll see there's a new cavern here. And we can pop in. It says the Terra Cave. And if you just go in here, this looks a lot like the seafloor cavern from like Ruby and Sapphire and in this game. But now this is where we can find our friend Groudon. Oh, look at him. He's so beautiful. Um, but let's go ahead and save. Uh, we should... Oh, hi, Cry. Hello. Sorry I didn't see you there. I was too excited. Oh. Here he comes, this music. The drums here. Mm. I know we had this for Rayquaza, but I'm gonna go ahead and appreciate it um, once again. Um, <laughs> Terrastral foreshadowed in Gen 3, that's so funny. Um, so Groudon's drought is going to intensify the sun. I'm pretty sure we're going to get knocked out here, but I think we can get a leaf blade in. Yeah. Because if I'm not mistaken, this Groudon is going to have fire blast, and that is going to mess up our boy Piccolo here in a hot second. Oh, solar beam. I don't mind him going for that. But Groudon with solar beam is such a great combo. Um, oh, I will absolutely name it Great Ball. Thank you, Brody, because... <laughs> Uh, our Rayquaza is Pokeball. I did just realize if this is a critical hit, Groudon will die. 
which we don't want to see. And there it is. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's do that again. That's hilarious. All right, um, let's start with a different Pokemon. Um, you know what? I actually don't mind it. Let's do it again. Oh, the legendaries are so epic. Um, it is really crazy because in Ruby and Sapphire, Groudon and Kyogre are just... Oh! We catch a Fisher to the face! It's a one-hit KO. Wow, that's crazy. Mm. I read you loud and clear, Brody. I'm with you. I am totally with you. Um... I'm pretty sure James has levitate. Let's have a let's have a look see, and we can try to put him to sleep. If we can survive one move, ah, oh, we did not outspeed. Ah, oh, we do survive a solar beam though. I love that. Um, I actually will let Pokeball tank this. Ah, yes. As you can see here. Groudon just had to take in sunlight for the turn that Rayquaza came in because Rayquaza has a special ability called Airlock and what that does it negates the effects of weather so even though Groudon still has that sun up it can't use that to use solar beam in one turn because Rayquaza's on the field very cool um here I'm pretty sure an extreme speed is gonna be fine um Let's try, let's try one more of those. Get Ziggy in there. Ah, oh, crap. Um, let's see if I can without Ziggy immediately dying. Um, I'm gonna try an Ultra Ball here. I bought a bunch of Ultra Balls and Timer Balls again because the Timer Balls were really useful against the, whatchamacallit, the Reggies. Um, so what I might do here, we can probably sack Bent Cool. Yeah, that'll be a one shot for sure. All right, we're going to try to get the catch with Ziggy. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. What else is there to do? Okay. Okay. Whoa! We catch another fissure! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Ziggy. That is crazy. Um, I would just love to be able to put it to sleep again. But James is gonna probably die here. Okay, it makes ground moves miss with Levitate. Sorry, I just couldn't talk there for a second. Um, okay, so this is going to give us another shot to put ground on to sleep. Excuse me. So that's excellent. And there's a rest. There's a rest. <laughs> so Groudon did go to sleep. Let's see what an Outrage does. Oh, it does too much damage. Can I swap? No, I can't. It's just going to kill it. All right, take three. Take three. Oh, fastball, Mom. Don't remind me. I so wish we could use a fastball on this bad boy. Um, okay. Maybe Piccolo won't catch a, catch a fissure this time. All right, Groudon, we can't mess around here, dude. I have three things that I want to do in this finale. Solar Beam is fine. Um, no crit on the Leaf Blade. There we go. Fissure is fine. Let's just, yes, I still have Quick Attack. We can just work in some Quick Attacks, or maybe not. All right. <laughs> yes. Um... I'm going to see if I can get him to sleep. We should eat that. 
Okay, good. That was even a high roll, it seemed. Um, it depends on what happens here. We might see Fissure. Let's try. Yeah, that'll kill Bentacool 10 times out of 10. All right, so Radon's going to fall asleep here. And there it goes. So I'm going to let Ziggy get a hit in. We're going to use a strength. And that should knock it into the red. I mean, it's not going to do much. Okay. <laughs> All right, now let's try that Ultra Ball. Come on, buddy. Okay. And there goes Ziggy once again. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Chimeco back up to speed here. And we're going to see if we can get it to sleep again. Ooh, Harry was burned. Um, let's try this. If my Pokemon was higher level than the other, it was easier to catch. Is that true? All right, Harry Jr. holds on. Can throw a few more balls here. Come on. Boop. Oh! Oh! I really thought that was it. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Oh, for the longest time you thought it was. I understand. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay. I was just thinking how we were lucky that it hadn't used rest yet. So, Groudon's going to be asleep for two to three turns. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a special drop. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to try to time a yawn. Oh, wow. It does more damage every time, it seems. Um, okay. Well. Don't have much more going here. Let me just try an Ultra Ball while it's asleep. Oh. Ah. Do it again. Dang it. Yeah, it's probably too much HP. I also am forgetting that he's actually asleep due to a yawn, not due to rest. Wow, so he's asleep for like the max amount. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, finally wakes up. Okay, I'm very glad that Fissure doesn't affect Rayquaza. Um, Rayquaza walls Groudon pretty well. It's not able to put it back to sleep, Excuse me. Let's see. Nothing there. I know. Groudon is a ground type, not a fire type. That's always been a little bit confusing to me. It's also bright red. I mean, it is Groudon, like the ground. And it's like, it's supposed to represent the land... Um, like land mass, like Team Magma wants land mass, and Team Aqua wants Aqua wants water. Um, I am disappointed that I can't really use Outrage um, because Rayquaza will get locked into it. Uh, 
All right. We're going to get to the point where we can start using timer balls, and that thrills me. Because I'm very limited in how I can damage this thing at this point. We'll use another Hyper on Chimeco. Maybe try to get one more Yawn in. Once we... Once, yeah, I'll start throwing timer balls. It's been way over 10 turns. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's also a sun Pokemon. You're so right, it literally calls the sun. What else? What could be more fire than that? All right. Okay, so we're doing this. And I'm getting low on extreme speeds as well. The thing is, we really need all of our HMs to get to these Pokemon sometimes. And that's why I thought we needed Bentacool. We probably could have brought one more good Pokemon. The other thing about rest that's tough is that... Um, it, since our only attacking move really right now is fly he's just going to keep resting let's see alright a nice crit I like that <laughs> I know that's what I'm saying alright let's see what a tybird ball can do from this range Nothing is the answer. And I figured he would go right back to sleep. Yeah, because at this point, he might be close to struggling, honestly. Um, probably just going to keep using rest. Um, come on, Canada, indeed, Brody. He might be out of attacking moves. Yeah, because Fissure and Fire Blast only get five... Um, power points and solar beam only gets 10 I mean he's probably used about that many <laughs> thank you try <laughs> or cry uh, channel your energy best you can um, all right something else we can do here if he's done with attack moves we can just have James in here whittling him down and we can maybe get a special drop but that won't really mean much because James other special move is gonna be shockwave <laughs> oh my goodness all right a crit love to see it all right let's try again come on I know he's not that low but all right he is asleep Let's try a few more Ultras. Okay. Yeah, man, all he's doing is resting. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I remember this being an issue when I was a kid, trying to catch these bad boys. Oh yeah, there's the struggle. All right, so now we're at a point where it can't hit us with a regular attack. I'm so glad James held on there. That's really good. Um, okay, Rayquaza can get in here. All right, so now we have him asleep. Um, really only has a few turns left where it's not going to be dead. Um so it's kind of now or never on our timer balls. Let's see. I mean, I feel like it's been like 30 turns. It should be increasing its chances. Dang it, man. It's 
It's kind of a tough early wake up. Let's see what we can do here. Oh! That was brutal. All right. Come on. All right. So Rayquaza has to survive here. Let's just pop a Hyper Potion really quick. Because he won't kill himself on this turn. No. I think we only have one left. <sighs> Come on, guys. Come on. Give us all your energy, Cry. Wow. And with a crit, that kills it. That's brutal, guys. That is brutal. Whew. All right. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna try a different strategy. I don't even know what that strategy is. I think I'm just gonna try to freeze it. Or just, yeah, screw it. It is super effective. I didn't even think about that. Oh, great. Because Ice Beam is probably going to be better damage for us than um, Surf, just because the sun is out. Okay. Pretty sure Ice Beam keeps it alive here. Nope, it doesn't. Bye, see ya. See ya, Brody. Thank you. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I I understand. I understand. I appreciate any any energy you have to give at all. You know? Um, come on, Groudon. Groudon, you just have to cooperate with me here. Oh, wow. So on a high roll, that does half. That's crazy. It was not doing anywhere near that in the last fight. And that kills it? What? Last fight, it wasn't doing anywhere near half. That's why I figured it was like a crazy high roll and tried it again. Interesting. I mean, I do have that... Uh that perfectly trained, modest nature, uh, Starmie, that helped us conquer the battle frontier. You see, that's what it should look like. Okay, there's the solar beam. So that'll kill for sure. That's okay. Um, Piccolo. And I have another strategy. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use Screech. So that way we can maybe have a little more flexibility with our damage output with Rayquaza or other Pokemon. So like, if I get to that point with Piccolo again, I can use Quick Attack, and that should be able to knock it into a more favorable range for us. Um, but uh, Groudon's feeling real sleepy this time through. So I'm just going to throw an Ultra Ball right off the jump. Not quite. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before I get a critical hit with Piccolo. I just hope it's at the beginning. Good. There it was. Yeah, Screech Quick Attack's going to do a little bit more. Um, but I'm just going to keep trying this. Oh. We had a real close one last time, guys. A real close one. Okay. 
Perfect. Again, I'm just gonna throw while it's asleep. Okay. I like that decision. Because I just really all it's doing is resting this time. The Groudon's AI is really, really testy. I'm getting our critical hits at the right time. Ugh. I mean, we're doing it. Sorry I'm speeding up through this delicious music, but I don't want to take this the rest of our lives. Man. We are getting really close. There's the crit to kill it! Gosh dang it, guys! No! <laughs> this is killing me! Mm. Alright, okay. Okay. It's okay. We're fine. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him this time. Really the thing that destroyed me was the fact that we got him to the point where he was struggling and we still couldn't catch him with our timer balls. That was brutal. Also really hate to see Solar Beam there. We chill, you're right. That's what I'm trying to tell myself anyway. Um, all right, let's get James in here. We'll put you into a more desirable sleep, unless this fire blast kills us in one shot, which it does. <laughs> uh, all right. A non-critting leaf blade will do pretty well. But a fire blast will kill us right off the, right off the bat as well. Okay. All right, Ziggy Luck. Dang, Ziggy gets destroyed again. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Um, all right, Bentacool luck. Nothing there, and now he's asleep. Um, we'll just surf, I guess. It would have been nice to get one of those, um, whatchamacallits. Oh, that's a brutal miss. Get one of those screeches in. Um, and now he just rests in. I know he has more fissures and more fire blasts. He has more moves to use. He's not just resting yet. Um, let's see. All right, here we're going to be able to get two in, hopefully, because he went to sleep while we were in the air. Awesome. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We got him. <laughs> Groudon, the continent Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground. It's said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. Thank you, Cry. That was like anticlimactic, because that was just like on our like fifth regular great uh, Ultra Ball, which I promised Brody. This Groudon shall be named Great Ball. 
Also starts with a G. All right. So we got him. Um, I don't know if there are Pokemon in here, but I'm going to go ahead and use a Repel. Um, so, oh, I actually just realized Sceptile has Dig, but that's okay. I am out of here. The intense sunshine appears to have subsided. Ooh, and the cave is gone too. Uh, because we have caught Groudon. Lovely. Excuse me. All right. All right. So now we're going to take this squad and we're going to go catch us a Kyogre. All right. I feel like the amount of Pokeballs we have now is pretty sufficient. Yeah, we have 22 Ultra Balls. I might as well just go ahead and grab three more if I can get them here. Yeah. Have the same amount for this one. All right. So now let's have a nice little trek to the Weather Institute. And again, once you catch Groudon, um, you can pop back in here, and this guy will actually tell you where to find Kyogre next. Um, and it appears to go in that order. You have to catch Groudon first and then Kyogre. And he says, presently heavy rainfall has been recorded over Route 129. So when we get to Route 129, um, there should be a spot to dive um, that was not there previously. And we can dive in that spot to find our friend Kyogre. Yeah, 29 is down here, so I'll just go straight down from Moss Deep. That'll be the easiest. All right. So, well, first of all, let's, let's save. I caught that Groudon. Perfect. So, 127. Oops, 128. Ugh. Me and my speed up. All right. So now, we have made it to Route 129. As you can see, the rain is falling heavily, and we need to look for a special new dive spot. Um, I'm actually not sure where it's going to be, but it will be somewhere on this route. Well, let's see here. That's 128. Good thing we fought all these trainers before. All right, that's Route 130. So Route 129 it should be up here then. Ah, so here on Route 129, here is a dive spot that we have not seen before, but we followed the heavy rain, and we can follow this into this new secret cavern and filter and come back up. And this is going to take us to the marine cave. Groudon was in the Terra cave. Kyogre is in the marine cave. And as you can see, there's our friend. Mm-hmm, lovely. Okay, um, so we're gonna start with Harry Jr. Harry's got that Thunderbolt. But first, I'm going to save because I have anxiety. All right. Let's do it. Get another music. Ooh, man. I love Kyogre. I actually really love that we're catching him now. Kyogre was my legendary when I first played Generation 3. Um, because I obviously, hate, obviously got Sapphire version. So, uh, Pokemon Sapphire was actually my first experience with Generation 3. 
Um, ooh, what? Let's see what this does. Does a lot, as it turns out. Um, I am pretty sure Kyogre has rest just like Groudon, which makes me so sad. What makes me more sad is a critical hit to kill it. So let's start over. <laughs> All right. But yeah, one of these days I would like to play the original um, Ruby or Sapphire for you guys. I don't know when that'll happen. Um, I'm just kind of interested in that just because... Um, you know, that is kind of the original way to play Generation 3. And it is quite different. I have kind of, um, throughout our playthrough here, I've really kind of made it a point to point out some differences between Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. And there are quite a lot. It's a, it's a much more different looking game than Yellow is to Red and Blue or Crystal is to Gold and Silver. Still not crazy different, of course, but definitely more different than those games were. Um, I'm just going to pop another Thunderbolt here. Ugh, I really wish that he did not wake up right there. I'm actually going to go for some Psychics. We'll see if I can get a special drop. Nothing doing there. It is annoying that we are trying to catch two of like the most stall based legends you're gonna find. I'll just chuck one. See what happens. Nothing. I figured he'd go right back. Wap da 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 Yeah, Kyogre's gonna have a better special defense stat than Groudon. Because I remember our Leaf Blades doing much more damage to Groudon. Oh! And they both have the one-hit KO moves! Sheer Cold, that's a new move to Generation 3. It's a lot like Fissure, it's just a nice move. And when Groudon learns Fissure, Kyogre learns Sheer Cold. Oh, awesome cry. Um, after Emerald, we are going to get into Pokemon Platinum, which I'm very excited about. Good thing I wasted a turn on Yawn. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into Platinum, which I am so stoked about. Um, excuse me. I'm going to keep trying and failing to get that special drop. There it is. Um, oh boy, that's going to kill James so bad. Awesome. I know, it'll be fun. Um, I'm excited. So let's see what Piccolo can do here. We're actually, Leaf Blade with a special drop is really going to hurt him. Okay. Maybe too much. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm kind of in the same pickle I was in with Groudon, where uh, oh, the fly does a little more, though. So that's good. Let's get an extreme speed. Um, but yeah, Cry, we're going to finish Emerald here. Oh, boy, don't kill yourself. Thank you. Um... And then uh, we'll move on to Platinum. Once we finish Yu-Gi-Oh!, the side game is actually going to be different as well. Um, and I'm also very excited about that. That's going to be really fun and really cool. Um, and something that I haven't done before. I mean, obviously it's going to be new, but um, I'm gonna I'm going to do... Just don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. It'll be super fun. So I'm going to see what Fly looks like with a higher or lower roll. 
Okay, so we kind of got a low roll that one time. Um, let's see what extreme speed does. Okay. Trying to get us into one shot here. All right, so we're going to be kind of getting into a spot where... Yeah, that's fine. Might have to use a turn on a revive for our friend Rayquaza. But uh, here, we're just going to keep chucking balls. I feel like Kyogre has not gone as smoothly. Um, all right, I'm actually going to use this to revive some folks just because Ziggy's not going to be able to do anything to this thing while it's asleep get Harry Jr. back and might as well get James alright so it looks like Kyogre can only use rest at this point that's what I was hoping for, um, to get a defense drop on Rock Smash. Oh, wait, no, it's got Double Edge still. All right, so we could be in rough shape. Let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, and Sheer Colds. Wow, this guy was playing me. Oh! Oh, I got the defense drop. I forgot about that. Okay. Come on. Oh, I can use a net ball. I just realized. Let's try it. Don't kill yourself, please. Dang it! <sighs> Guys, come on. You know? We're gonna get this. I'm going to do everything I want to do in this stream tonight, okay? I'm ready. It's gonna be perfect. <sighs> okay. No matter how long it takes, I appreciate you, Cry. Um, I could go for a similar strategy as I went with with Groudon, where I just wanted to go until I freeze it. Um... But that might turn out to be foolish. We'll see. All right, we're going to throw a netball. I have two. I'll save the other one for later in the battle. Oh, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, okay. He's just resting. He's really just taking this time to rest, you know? Let's see if we can get this special drop. I don't know if that's going to help us, but it might help us just whittle him down in fewer turns if we can get one. Okay. I'll chuck one. Yeah, nothing there. Starmie goes down, which I hate. Let's see if I can get a yawn in. My guess is that he'll try to use rest, but I might as well try. Yeah, with the rain, that's going to kill James every time. Uh, it just sucks that James is, is so slow. Let's see here. I like Piccolo. Let's try it. Okay. There's the rest. Um... With Leaf Blade, we have some decent options here to get him back down to a health that we like. He'll even survive a crit here, um, which is great. He might not survive one from this range, but I'm going to risk it. What else are we doing right now? Yep. <laughs> ah. Ah, guys. Come on now. Come on. I'm going to go for the freeze. I think I... Oh my gosh!
Guys! <laughs> I'm like, something's wrong. Oh, it's shiny. Holy crap. I'm safe stating this. We are catching this Kyogre. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh. That's so, so cool. We have to catch it now. Um, yes, I'm not letting this one go. Um, oh, I was like, give me the freeze. Give me the first turn freeze. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cool. I don't think I have ever had this happen in a Pokemon game before. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, and there was a crit. That's funny. All right, we're going to catch it. First ball. You ready? You ready? We're using a net ball. Here it is. <sighs> that would have been the coolest thing to ever happen. I don't even care. Good work, Harry. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um... Um, I'm just gonna start throwing. Okay. Oh, that almost killed it. I kind of hope it uses rest at this point. I'm gonna use my other net ball. Come on! You're at like one HP. <sighs> Dang it, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're not messing around with this guy. <laughs> We are catching this Kyogre. Um, let's see if I can freeze it again. That'll still really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> wow, with the rain, Hydro Pump still kills our Starmie. That's incredible. Critical hit will one-shot Piccolo. Um... Dream Ball, love it. And you're due a nickname cry. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Is a Net Ball even better than an Ultra Ball at this point? I don't know. It's fun. It's definitely that. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, with the mist flies. Um, I think at this point, a fly in an extreme speed. Okay, great. Thank you, Cry. I appreciate your quick, uh, quick fingers. Do not kill yourself. Okay. All right, come on, come on, come on, just catch, okay. Don't use double edge, great. So our dive balls are gone, but that's okay. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Um, so at this point, if it uses double edge, it dies. So we really don't want it to do that. Oh, I do. The netball is so cool. I, it's one of my favorites. Um, I also like that it works on two different kinds of Pokemon. I always thought that was fun. Um, so we really, okay. We really, uh, cannot afford for it to use double edge. And there it is. All right. So we're back here. Guys, we found a shiny Kyogre. This is the coolest thing ever. All right. 
and we have to catch it. We're going to catch it this time. I'm confident. We're going to get it. I'm just going to chuck an ultra ball, see what happens. Nothing. Nothing is what happened. All right. We're going to freeze it. We'll just freeze it. Easy. Yes! <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'll use a net ball. Still nothing. I don't know how Pokemon defrost in this game. I know it kind of... I know they can. Um, it's not like Generation 1 where they can't. Um, um, I'm just going to throw an Ultra Ball while you're frozen. Uh, dang it. Okay, I'll use Quick Attack here. Great. <laughs> Yeah, that usually works. All right, another net ball. We're going to catch it right here. Dang it, man. I mean, it's staying frozen. Oh, come on. Don't tease me like that. Dang it. There's the defrost. Dang it, guys. Oh, we had a three shake. I think that's our first three shake. And I mean, for all you shiny hunters out there, we reset like three times. For this Kyogre, like, it happened instantly. And now we kill it, so now we have to do the save state. <sighs> we even got the freeze, man. We even got the freeze. All right, all right. Try again, why not? This whole journey to catch Kyogre has been ridiculous. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, this, this really might be a super mega episode. I might let myself go later than I ever do. just because I really want to fit this uh, Emerald Finale in. All right, so Harry Jr. goes down, but I'm totally fine with that. Um, we're in a pretty good spot here, or at least decent. Can't believe we got that three shake on the freeze. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, let's just bring out Pokeball. Because I totally expect him to use Rest at some point soon. Whoa, and Rayquaza get, catches a Seer Cold. This is absolutely insane. Um... I don't think there's any move James survives, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, let's see. Whoa. All right, Ziggy. Let's get a revive going. All right. Do 
One die. Come on. Here it is. This is it. This is the one. Honestly, really happy to see rest there. Um, we're going to heal up the squad a little bit. Because I would really love to see... us catch it this time through. Excuse me. Because I just want to be, like, done with it. And we just can't let this one go. Oh, why did I do that? That's going to kill it. I'm so stupid. Oh, it didn't die, thankfully. Um, okay. Let's just use an extreme speed in case it decides to be silly and use double edge. Okay. When do I start throwing timer balls? Really glad to see some sheer colds missing because he should hopefully be just about out of them now. Um, yeah, nothing there. <sighs> the fact that it has double edge is just, just brutal. Just freaking terrible really not us not catching it when it when we got the freeze that was the big one man and the fact that a hydro pump still kills starmie from full health and it almost kills piccolo We are getting the most unfortunate crits of all time. There we go. All right, all right. Let's see what we can do with this. I mean, you can get rid of it immediately with a rest, but... Yes, here will be a Rayquaza. I highly... I don't remember if I said this out loud, but I highly overestimated how use, how useful James would be with its ability to put him to sleep because they're just always just resting. There it is again. And of course it can eliminate its status with that. Bum, bum. Let's see what we can do. I don't mind that because hopefully we can hit the fly on the downswing here. One more should do us. Great. Oh. We're getting really unlucky, I will say, in many aspects we got so lucky <laughs> that we got a shiny kyogre that now we're getting insanely unlucky um let's try netball yeah and the crit will kill it sorry headphones users I'm just extraordinary, fr extraordinarily frustrated, and I cannot stop until we get this thing. I cannot stop. Let's see. Because even a critical leaf blade from here is going to be fine. All right. 
I'm just going to throw one before it rests. Might as well. Can't stop, won't stop. You're so right. You are so right. If you can just use double edge on Bentacool, that'll put you in a good range. Please. No! <laughs> uh, netball. Guys, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it on this one. Ooh, I can feel it. Okay, come on. We're looking all right here. Let's see. Ultra Ball. Folks. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea and ours is pink because it's shiny. Yes. I did feel it. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. You wanted to call this dream ball, is what you said? Oh, hi. We'll call this dream ball because that whole situation just felt like a dream. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, folks, the massive downpour appears to have stopped. Or I guess not. It's just regular raining now. Um, we still have one more thing to do. Oops. I keep doing that. Because I promised myself in this stream that we would do three things. And this is... Oh my gosh, you are so right. I gotta say for the anxiety. Thank you, Cry. Oh my goodness. And we just hit 85 hours. That's great. Um, which is insane. Um, but, um, again, this is usually when I would end stream. But we have one more thing to do for our Emerald Finale. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bad boy in our party because this is so sick. Um, uh, let's see. We'll get Groudon in here. Um, I'll take out Chimeco. And Starmie, I'm actually going to let sit on the sidelines. I'm going to bring Harry back into the fold. Um... And I actually like this team a lot. Um, wait, yes. I'll keep Ziggy. I'll keep Ziggy in. Why not? All right. So, as you know, there is one more thing to do. We'll open with Great Ball here in uh, Pokemon... Uh, what are we playing? Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> Just like Gold, Silver, and Crystal have a post-game super boss in Pokemon Trainer Red, um, Emerald also, excuse me, has a post-game super boss. And I'm going to teach Kyogre Waterfall just so we can make it through. Um, Emerald also has a post-game super boss, and we are going to get to them right now. They are in the depths of Meteor Falls. And to get there, we need to use Waterfall to pop up here. Um, this is similar to what we did to get to... Um, oh yeah, sorry. Gotta teach him. Gotta teach him real quick. Please hold. Scroll all the way down. Plus, this will give him just like a more consistent water move, so that's fun. Alright, so as I was saying, 
When we popped over to catch Bagon, which felt like an eternity ago at this point, um, we actually found this place um, where we're going right now. Um, but let me make sure I'm going to the right spot. Oh, you got it. Um, let's see. So I gotta go this way. So we fought the dragon trainers here. I think I have to go to the left, if I'm not mistaken. This might be how I get the bag on. I'm in the wrong spot. I'll get there eventually, I promise. Perfect. Here we go. All right, folks. So now we have made it to the depths of Meteor Falls to face. Our old buddy Steven. He is sitting here in the back of the cave and he is collecting rocks and just being a general geology nerd. But we love that for him. But we're gonna interrupt him. Because we wanna fight. No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at the Space Center. Yes. Here we go. He gets the rival music? I never knew that. Is this right? This seems wrong. <laughs> but, I mean, it's delightful. Also, Cry, you might need to tell me how to do that, because I don't know how to do that. Um, Alright, so, Steven. He has a team primarily composed of rock and steel Pokemon. Um, I brought in Groudon to use uh, Fire Blast on his Skarmory, and we were able to get a nice, beautiful critical hit, baby. Um, okay, with Aggron coming out, um, I'm actually going to go into Dream Ball, our shiny Kyogre. I can't believe it. It's so amazing. <laughs> oh. I am saving this save forever. Oh my gosh, it's so incredible. Um, all right. So here, I feel like a waterfall will do us with the rain boost. Um, but we'll see. All right. Uh, dude, this has been epic. This has been so cool. Um, all right, Cradily. Um, we don't have amazing options here. Let's use Harry. So this is the evolved form of Lalik. It is, um... Okay, that's fine. Cradilly really wants to stall out. Um, this is going to be neutral, but with the rain boost, I thought we might as well give it a try. Uh, yeah, this might have been kind of stupid. But that's okay. Um, let's try another Surf. Alright, that's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure... I don't remember if fire is not very effective against rock or ground or both. Because it might be super effective still here, if it hits. Ah, uh, Giga Drain is still super effective against ground on, though. I'm just realizing. There we go. Okay, it's just neutral. Mmm. Okay, so we're kind of in trouble here against Cradilly, but that's okay. 
Um, yes, we'll just bring in Rayquaza. Oh my gosh. If only we would have had a Master Ball earlier. Okay, Outrage. I thought Outrage could two-shot it from there. Even with the um, super effective Ancient Power. Oh my gosh! The Ingrain saves it. Do I have one more in me? Come on. Oh, the Full Restore. Goodness gracious. All right, well, guess what? I have full restores too. Not that many, but I do. All right, I'm thinking we can live one more. Live it. Good. All right. There we go. Outrage takes it out. Good job, Rayquaza. Okay. Claydol. Um, we're going to use Dream Ball as much as possible. I really wanted to use Groudon Kyogre and Rayquaza to conquer Steven. And here we find ourselves. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Um, Dream Ball might be able to bring us home. We'll see. All right. Um, I'm hoping a waterfall will do it again with the rain assisting us, but we'll have to see. Nice. Perfect. Metagross. So this is where our matchup isn't quite as good. Oh, Metagross is such a cool Pokemon. With the rain, Hydro Pump should be pretty close to killing it, I would think. Oh, and I was right. <laughs> it was very close. Um, but we eat that. We eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and he might still use a full restore, and he does. Um, I'm hoping that with two waterfalls in the rain. Yes. Okay, great. So I probably would have been better off using waterfall from the beginning. And folks, he only has one Pokemon left. It is a rock bug type. Um, let's see. No, I do not want to switch. It is Armaldo, an objectively sick Pokemon. This is what one of the other false fossils evolves into. One waterfall should do the trick. We'll see. There it is. Our shiny Kyogre Dream Ball wins the day. And we defeat Steven. <sighs> Ever since our past first cross in Granite Cave, I had this feeling. I thought you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. And where will you go from here? <laughs> Even I couldn't tell you that. Well, folks, let's just look one more time at this fellow. Just chef's kiss. So great. Guys... I'm going to hit save and cry. Yeah, show me in the Discord what you're talking about exactly. I'll do that off stream at some other point because um, i got to get going here in a second. But, guys, this has been absolutely wonderful. I have loved playing Emerald with you, um, doing the Battle Frontier. Just beautiful. I agree, man. This has been so, so great. And thank you all for watching this. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching live, of course. And um, I'm excited for what's next. I always say I'm excited to continue sharing my joy and sharing my love of video games with you. Um, it's beautiful. 
and I hope to see you next time. Should be not Wednesday this week, probably Thursday, but uh, uh, hope you have a great night. Have a great week. Until then, peace out, kids. <laughs>